Have you ever stopped to wonder what could make a massive commercial airliner carrying over 200 people just disappear without a mayday signal or distress call? As if swallowed up by the night sky? Few mysteries in modern times have proven as baffling and gut-wrenching as the vanishing of Malaysia Airlines Flight MH370 on March 8, 2014. The Boeing 777 simply went silent over one of the most remote areas on Earth, the Southern Indian Ocean, sparking the greatest aviation search effort in history. It took over eight agonizing years before the wreckage and black boxes were finally located nearly four miles beneath the ocean surface, a historic recovery mission unto itself. And the evidence found revealed a shocking and terrifying truth. That MH370 and its 239 passengers and crew on board were brought down in a deliberate, meticulously calculated act of mass murder like nothing seen before. Today we're unraveling every chilling detail and presenting all theories on what really happened to MH370. It began like any other overnight commercial flight from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing. The pre-flight checks were routine, the weather was clear, and the flight path across the Gulf of Thailand towards Vietnamese airspace was a route flown hundreds of times a year by Malaysia Airlines. For the first 40 minutes on the evening of March 8, 2014, Malaysia Airlines MH370 followed its assigned flight plan without incident. The final voice transmission radioed by the cockpit crew was the totally normal Goodnight Malaysian 370 as the Boeing 777 crossed into Vietnamese airspace over the South China Sea. But less than two minutes later, this routine flight would take an unprecedentedly bizarre turn towards the extraordinary that would baffle investigators from that moment forward. At precisely 1.21 a.m., Malaysia Air Traffic Control's radar screen watching over the Gulf of Thailand went black as MH370 inexplicably disappeared without any communication from the cockpit. Just like that, one of the world's most advanced passenger aircraft carrying 239 people vanished without a mayday, radio call, or any indication of an emergency on board. Confusion quickly turned to shock as Malaysian military radar tracked MH370 making an air turn, pivoting hard to reverse its course back across the Malay Peninsula. The plane then continued flying northwest across Malaysia towards the Indian Ocean, veering wildly off its assigned course in a manner never before seen in commercial aviation. It was a silent and shocking disappearance into the night that left the world holding its breath. What possibly could have happened aboard the state-of-the-art airliner to cause its pilots to overwrite their flight plan and divert hundreds of miles off course without any distress calls? The mystery of MH370 had begun, sparking a billion-dollar search effort across one of the most remote areas of ocean on the planet. With no explanation or demands issued by anyone potentially in control of MH370, search and rescue protocols were rapidly activated across Southeast Asia to locate the missing flight. More than two dozen nations deployed military ships and surveillance aircraft to scour the seas surrounding Malaysia for any sign of wreckage or evidence of where MH370 may have ended up. Scouring vast areas from the Gulf of Thailand to the South China Sea, ships and planes equipped with radars and sonar desperately searched for debris fields or transmissions from the aircraft's black boxes that could still be pinging. As weeks turned to months with the search turning up nothing more than spotty pieces of debris, the scope of the efforts massively expanded farther into the Indian Ocean, ballooning the costs into the hundreds of millions. Finally, in March 2014, recovered data from automated satellite pings suggested MH370 had somehow continued flying for nearly eight additional hours across an unbelievably isolated stretch of the southern Indian Ocean. Oceanographers modeled potential news scenarios for where the aircraft could be located based on this revised flight path data over the Indian Ocean. Their findings refocused the multi-nation search to a specific 25,000 square kilometer zone west of Australia where deep sea scanning expeditions carrying state-of-the-art technology were launched in 2018. For over two more years, highly specialized unmanned underwater vehicles continued sweeping the seafloor with side skin sonar. The cost soared into the billions as the unprecedented search operation seemed no closer to recovering the main wreckage site until a shocking deep sea discovery broke the case wide open. It was April 25, 2022, and the deep sea scanning crews operating off the contracted vessel Remora 3 made a baffling detection. Their unmanned vehicles began identifying defined sections of an aircraft's fuselage, landing gear, engines, and other components scattered across the remote ocean floor nearly four miles beneath the surface. 
Over several months, the debris field was comprehensively mapped and identified as conclusively being the main wreckage from missing Malaysia Airlines flight MH370, a virtual plane crash crime scene frozen in time. And most crucially, recovery teams were able to locate and retrieve the plane's black boxes, both the cockpit voice recorder and flight data recorder that held all the secrets to MH370's final moments. It marked an unprecedented milestone in aviation history and marine salvage. For the first time ever, the black boxes from a crashed airliner had been recovered intact from such extreme depths years after the incident occurred. Incredibly, the crash survivable memory units from both recorders were successfully downloaded, the audio and flight data preserved by their protective housings despite the crushing 3,900 meters of saltwater pressure they endured. At long last, the entire mystery of what happened to MH370 could potentially be unraveled based on the first-hand recordings and digital logs contained within the prized black box evidence. Here's what that shocking evidence revealed MH370's fate to be. An ominous chain of events began unfolding in the skies over the South China Sea at around 40 minutes into MH370's overnight flight to Beijing. The cockpit voice recorder captured a sudden distress in the voices of Captain Zahari Shah and First Officer Farrakh Hamid as an unknown number of adversaries appear to have breached the cockpit. After just 30 seconds, the recorder tracks the voices and any further communication from the pilots after they were seemingly incapacitated or overpowered by the intruders. Just moments later, at 1.21 a.m., MH370's transponder transmission of position and navigation data ceases. Almost immediately, Malaysian military radar tracks the aircraft making an abrupt U-turn known as the Drunken Slalom Reversal in Aviation. Abandoning its original flight plan and charting a new baffling course back across the Malay Peninsula out over the Indian Ocean over the next hour. For the next six and a half hours, flight data from MH370's engines and navigation systems show the aircraft continuing southwest out into one of the most remote areas of the Indian Ocean steadily descending from its cruising altitude as the remaining fuel was being burned off. Then at 8.19 a.m. local Malaysian time on March 9, 2014, just over seven hours after the hijacking began, all transmissions and data log abruptly as MH370 ran out of fuel and crashed into the southern Indian Ocean. The flight was gone. Despite rare glimpses of background noise heard on the CVR, there are no further communications recovered from anyone potentially in control of MH370. But the evidence clearly points to the flight being hijacked shortly after takeoff. In a scenario endured only in our worst nightmares, the recordings prove MH370 was subjected to a shocking, deliberate act of hijacking and mass murder in one of the most remote regions of Earth, for reasons and by perpetrators that still remain unknown. The limited evidence may have definitively revealed what physically happened to MH370, but the biggest question why it was hijacked and killed in such a shocking and extreme way remains a chilling mystery. With no group claiming responsibility or disclosed ransom demands at any point, investigators have been left to theorize on the potential motives and perpetrators behind one of the most meticulously coordinated and senseless acts of mass murder in modern history based on the evidence at hand. Let's explore some of the most disturbing and widely considered theories. The pilot suicide theory. Perhaps the most haunting possibility investigators have pursued one of MH370's own pilots, the veteran captain Zahari Shah, may have been suffering a mental break that caused him to hijack and intentionally crash the plane in a shocking and inexplicable act of mass murder-suicide. Records show Shah had been going through personal troubles and marital issues in the weeks leading up to MH370 and had even used his home flight simulator to practice a very similar flight path out over the southern Indian Ocean. While loved ones described him as devoted to his profession, disturbing details have emerged including Shah's possession of a flight procedures document marked with shadowy illustrations and the ominous title, The Life's Matters. This could point to concerns over the pilot's psychological state prior to MH370. Shah also initiated a type and snicker text conversation with a mystery passenger on the flight just moments before it took off, leading to suspicions of potential pre-planning. If proved true, this would shockingly make Captain Shah one of the most prolific aerial killers in modern history. But to this day, no conclusive suicide note or motive explaining such unspeakable actions has ever been uncovered the rogue terrorist hijacking theory. 
With no suicide or criminal evidence directly tying Captain Shaw to the hijacking, another disturbing possibility is that MH370 was deliberately taken over by highly trained terrorist hijackers, with the intent of crashing or diverting the plane for ulterior motives. Analysis of the flight data suggests MH370's abrupt turns and long-distance track out to the pre-programmed Southern Indian Ocean location is eerily reminiscent of Al-Qaeda's previous model of diverting doomed hijacked planes to hugely remote areas as a strategic choice. Were they aiming MH370 for a future 9-11 style attack at an undisclosed target originally before poor planning or lack of fuel forced them instead to ditch in isolation? Some theorists claim that initially, the plan may have been to land MH370 on an isolated island or airstrip, divulge the passengers to remote holding locations, and either take hostages or use the Boeing 777 as a guided missile towards a high-value target. Only once airborne did poor intel on the fuel remaining force them to abandon those plots for the Indian Ocean ditching as a backup plan. However, in the eight years following, no terrorist group has ever credibly taken responsibility for the attack or released any of MH370's passengers should they be held captive. This leaves the motivation and identity of who may have hijacked it in such a way shrouded in mystery should the terrorist scenario be accurate. The Unknown Hijacker Theory Of course, hijackings of commercial aircraft are nothing new or shocking to the world except that historically, virtually every previous aviation hijacking incident has been accompanied by ransom demands, political grandstanding by the perpetrators, or confirmed released reports after the fact of who was responsible. Which makes the complete radio silence surrounding MH370 silent hijacking all the more bizarre, whoever specifically overpowered Captain Shah and First Officer Hamid to reprogram the flight, they made no attempt to either ransom the passengers divert to an actual hijacker-controlled landing destination, or claim responsibility for their actions afterward. This disturbing anonymity has led to wild theories that MH370 could have been commandeered by everyone from a team of unidentified but highly skilled mercenary operatives, to even suggestions it was secretly hijacked by passengers themselves trained as criminal aviation experts. Without any group claiming credibility or obvious motive, however, this seems one of the more unlikely scenarios based on current evidence. The lack of demands, ideological grandstanding, or clear perpetrators leaves the shocking MH370 hijacking and mass murder as an unsettling anomaly in the history of such incidents. A supremely well-executed and tragic crime without any tangible reasons other than pure diabolical premeditation by completely unknown assailants. The shocking conspiracy theories. Of course, no matter how seemingly cut and dry the evidence surrounding MH370 may appear in hindsight, one of the greatest aviation mysteries of the 21st century has been a magnet for swirling mass conspiracy theories from the moment it first went missing. The magnetic draw of darker, more elaborate forces potentially at play continues fueling conjecture and shocking new claims that this incomprehensible tragedy could be the mere outer layers of a far more sinister conspiracy and cover-up at work. Here are a few of the most widespread and convoluted theories surrounding MH370's disappearance. The Extraterrestrial Interference Theory Some of the earliest conspiracy claims surrounding MH370 originated from vague photographs and videos allegedly capturing UFOs or unexplained phenomena over the Malacca Strait in the days leading up to the flight's disappearance. Fueled by these murky images posted by self-described ufologists, theories emerged claiming the plane itself had potentially encountered or recovered evidence of extraterrestrial technology, alien life, or perhaps even beings themselves. Leading to a coordinated incident where MH370 was targeted for seizure or destruction before this game-changing evidence could go public. More long-standing outlandish claims have been made suggesting MH370 was potentially transported millions of miles away to the Moon, Mars, or deep space for study by hyper-advanced alien races. Or even more incredibly, that the wreckage found in 2022 was staged while the real plane remains hidden somewhere else in the galaxy in the possession of hostile alien forces. The Recovery Team Whistleblower Conspiracy in late 2022, a figure by the name of Liam Deacon came forward claiming to be a former Mossad agent with explosive details related to MH370's fate. Deacon's allegations detailed Israel's intelligence agency being behind the hijacking and diversion of MH370 in a covert operation aimed at seizing possession of undisclosed next-generation electronics, being transported on the flight's cargo manifest. 
According to Deacon, the original plan was for Mossad operatives secretly aboard MH370 to commandeer the aircraft and divert it to a clandestine facility in Kazakhstan where the sensitive cargo could be offloaded. However, unforeseen difficulties forced the daring seizure operation to divert at the last minute to an emergency water landing in the southern Indian Ocean. This is where Deacon's claims take their most shocking turn, alleging the entire multi-billion dollar international search and recovery effort was actually an elaborate cover-up coordinated in advance by Israeli intelligence. Deacon insists the debris field and black boxes were only allowed to be publicly discovered by search teams in 2022 after Israel conducted a secret initial retrieval to siphon away the true valuable cargo from MH370's wreckage. While Deacon claims to have encrypted documents verifying his account and the shocking true purpose of Mossad's interest in MH370 special cargo, he has so far declined to publicly release the full contents of his purported file cache. Malaysian and Israeli officials have forcefully denied Deacon's whistleblower claims as utterly baseless and belonging in the genre of outright science fiction conspiracies. However, the sensational and stunning allegations have nevertheless caught the attention of some fringe outlets and MH370 victim family members still awaiting full transparency and accountability eight years after the tragedy. Only the public release of Deacon's alleged evidence can potentially corroborate or dispel this new shocking claim of a deeper conspiracy behind what caused the disappearance of MH370. Technological Legacy and Safety Reforms While the full truth behind the shocking deaths of MH370's passengers may sadly forever elude us, the flight's legacy has already transformed the aviation industry and how we ensure the location of aircraft operations is never unknown again. In the aftermath of MH370, new regulatory requirements were swiftly implemented mandating every commercial airliner have redundant next-generation transponders and black box pingers capable of near real-time tracking and streaming of critical flight data over remote cloud networks. Thanks to MH370, it's now impossible for airliners to simply vanish as radar and satellite monitoring systems are receiving active pings of position data at all times during each flight. Other key safety reforms include rigorous new psychological and security screenings of flight crews, installation of reinforced cockpit doors and controls governed by fingerprint recognition and other identity confirmation systems. Airlines have been forced to treat an unthinkable scenario like MH370 as a very real possibility moving forward. Yet for the hundreds of families who lost loved ones aboard that fateful overnight flight eight years ago, while these reforms stand as an enduring legacy, there remains a gaping hole of unanswered questions that may never heal. Who masterminded this act of carefully coordinated mass murder and equally disturbing, what drove them to such savagery and evil? For the missing souls of MH370, we may never obtain the full truth despite mankind's greatest search efforts and technological wizardry. Like the flight itself, their story was abruptly cast adrift into the isolation of the Indian Ocean's dark oblivion by motives yet unknowable. For now, the clouds of unanswered questions surrounding MH370 will continue hovering over any attempts at authentic closure. But the ultimate sacrifice of its victims have already indelibly transformed flight safety forever, even against our most sinister nightmares. If you found this exploration into the MH370 mystery as fascinating as it was chilling, be sure to subscribe to the future Tech Fusion for more long-form documentary-style content exploring the biggest unanswered questions in science, technology, and unsolved events that have channeled humanity. Hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you never miss groundbreaking new videos from the future Tech Fusion. Our mission is separating fact from fiction on the most compelling mysteries, breakthroughs, and what-if scenarios just over the horizon. From in-depth reporting on the latest UFO intelligence disclosures to exploring sci-fi concepts like warp drives and commercial space stations, the future Tech Fusion is your hub for an enlightening journey through tomorrow's realities today. So take a moment to subscribe and we'll see you in the next investigation here on the future Tech Fusion. Talk to you soon.